genders alike got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I wanna be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt Drinking hot wine by the fire Don't care of anything Good morning guys! Welcome back to another video. We have goodies! It is officially December and we've just been to Starbucks because I don't know, I just thought we'd start the day off a little bit differently. They've got their festive menu out and I want to give it a try. So I've actually just got these drinks as well. So I want to give it a try. So I've actually just got these drinks as well. Guys, I've never actually been, like if you watched my autumn chatty car vlog, I've never actually really been someone to branch out past my vanilla oat latte, but we're doing it again because I actually can resist. And we've got some breakfast as well because why not? So Kieran went for the caramel waffle. Did they do mocha or not? I didn't ask that. Oh. So you went for the caramel caramel waffle, waffle latte, and I went for the toffee nut. Did it not come with a waffle then? No. Oh, it came with milk, but that's. Yours looks really better than mine. All the cream is like melted on top. Cheers. Right, cheers. Is it hot? Is it hot? I mean, I guess so. Mm. Oh my god. That's very sweet, isn't it? That is what so have you got? ridiculously sweet. It's awful. What, what have you got? <laughs> what have you got? Sorry, I don't know how people drink those. What the heck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I thought mine was sweet. You try that. <laughs> oh my neck, god. Neck. That's all right. Bit, bit caramely. Crikey. That's bad. What is that one? Guys, they're awful. Don't order them. What Jesus. is that one? What is that one? <laughs> you had the caramel waffle. No, they're all your one. I had toffee nut. That's bad. Right, that's yours. Okay, so I went for the pigs in blanket because it's breakfast, really. <gasps> it's really hot. Oh, this actually looks quite good, you know. I feel like you can't really go wrong with this. What have you got? I mean... Oh. It doesn't look the best. That does not look good. <laughs> but I reckon... There's that's... nothing... Oh my God, that looks awful. I don't even like bacon, but that looks Can you see right. how cold it is in my car? Like, honestly, it's freezing to it. Guys, what on earth is in that? No, it's, no, it's not... It's more than... It's like minus one today. It's right. frozen. Okay. It's really hot. You've steamed up my camera. This Can I have some of that though? Mine what is, is in there? Really good. It's hot. <laughs> mm. It's actually quite good. Bread's a bit chewy. Mine's really good. This, get that. Have you got, is there, what is in there? Cheese and what? Cheese. And pickle? Sausages, bacon. Oh, hot, isn't it? Is there some sort of chutney in there? Alright, let me move. I'll show you this. Yeah, that's good. It's alright. Okay, I'll rate the food. Also, sorry, but since when did Starbucks get that expensive? This cost me nearly £30. No. Yeah. £30. £30? Pound. No, it didn't. Yeah, it did. £28. I'm sorry, but that's actually insane. Well, the two sandwiches and yeah, two drinks. Yeah, this is why, honestly, like, meal prep is so much more affordable Five pounds. Uh, yeah i know you have to go to the shop and obviously buy the ingredients but you honestly save so much money and you get so much like bang for your buck as well ellie that's more than five pound each item yeah and that's ridiculous like actually insane i just don't get it how many calories is that one find that out quickly no but most people can get like hot drinks and stuff from their work anyway so that's free for most people but if you can't like you can still buy those sachets from the supermarket i actually really like them i think they're likeness they're not espresso, are they? Nescafe. Nescafe. They're really good, those sachets, and they're quite cheap. And then, yeah, I would just meal prep to save money, because that is ridiculous. 
That's crazy, isn't it? So I know it's obviously December. There's going to be so many social events that you guys are probably going to be going to. And I just want you to know that it's absolutely okay to go to social events and enjoy yourself and still eat the food, drink the drink, whatever you want to do. It's literally just one month of the year. And I always just say to my clients, like, control the days that you can control. So if you're going out on, like, Saturday, just be really good, like, Monday to Friday and Sunday. And Sunday, just get straight back to it. Like, don't stress about it and don't beat yourself up because there's literally no point. And... You don't want to look back in like 10 years and be like that christmas all i was worried about was the food i was eating and i just felt really guilty because there's actually nothing to feel guilty about it's just a time of the year and yeah it's just so important to enjoy it really and eat food like this like this you can actually obviously eat track really easily but again i wouldn't recommend because it's so expensive but it does taste really good arthur is literally cooing do you want to show them what he's wearing mm -hmm. so we brought arthur out this morning because we still can't leave him at home he's like Begging for Come Kieran's here. sandwich. Come here. <coughs> He's wearing a Christmas pudding outfit. <laughs> his arms have come out of it. I'm not sure why his arms <laughs> come out of it, but look. How's that happened? Okay, so we did actually get you one more thing. What is it? Shut your eyes. Is that one yours or mine? I don't know. I can't want to do yours. <laughs> shut, shut your eyes. Yeah, hopefully it's another sandwich because I'm starving. There's a waffle in it. Gingerbreads. Oh my goodness, he just licked the top of the coffees. I love gingerbread. It used to be the only thing that I used to eat as a kid, biscuit wise. Mum used to have to make them for me. What one's that one called? It's called a, it's called a Santa gingerbread cookie. Oh. Yeah, it's good. I actually stopped in Tobby's all the way back, didn't we? Yeah. What do we get? So I'm just obsessed with Christmas shopping, guys. We're buying stuff for the Christmas table when we haven't got the Christmas table. Yeah, we haven't actually got a table yet. Um, this is our current situation. Like, I just can't. I mean, there's meant to be a table there. But I actually picked up these little candles. So we're not even lighting. No. That's what I mean. You don't what even light what, them. What goes through women's head? But they sit on the dining table. And I've just, I've, I don't know, I've picked up loads of really cute stuff recently, haven't I? Yeah, really, really cute stuff. Man. I haven't even opened my calendar yet. What have we done today? Yeah, you haven't even opened it once. My mum buys, only buys me the Milky Bay, Milky Bar? Yeah, Milky Bar one, yeah. because I don't like chocolate, genuinely. So white chocolate's my, my only one I like. A Milky Bar. For the dining table at Christmas, I've got like these napkin rings. They're from Amazon. And then we're gonna go with like a moss green theme. I was watching videos last night on how to fold these correctly. <laughs> there, is actually, there is actually one way you just like pinch it like this. You and chuck it through. Yeah, like that. And then it like fans out at the bottom. No, you got no, you have to do it like this. I mean, it needs to be ironed and everything, but I think they're quite cute. And then with like this on the table, then we're gonna have like a garland. I'm gonna have What's up, brown thing? big candles. This is the runner for the table, but they only sold it in 30 meters. 30 meters, do <laughs> you know how long that is? Do you know how long 30 meters is? <laughs> I know. I can't open it. Can we cut it? Can you just cut it? Yeah. Oh, right. Here, you cut it. And the table's gonna be like, what? Six foot? Three meters, not 30. <laughs> no, I think it's like two meters. Well, I'm two minutes tall. I think they look cute. Today is actually leg day, and the last leg day I did was Saturday, and today's Sunday. I trained with my friend G, and oh my goodness, I actually couldn't walk for two days. I feel like today is the first day where I haven't had any aches. <laughs> So I'm kind of scared and I'm not like mentally prepared for it. I don't know, I was just saying to Kieran, I really can't be bothered, but we need to go, we need to get it done. Um, because otherwise I just won't fit in my workouts this week and we've got quite a busy weekend as we are having loads of work done on this house soon and we need to get everything ready. We need to do a lot of painting um, before that's done. I'm so excited to show you guys. But um, yeah, I need to get that done so that I'm not worrying about it this weekend. <sighs> Why is it always so hard to get to the gym when it's just so cold outside? I actually cannot deal. As you can see, we're kind of living in a semi-renovated house. <laughs> but I'm so excited. We're getting a runner up these stairs and we've got to paint like all of this. Oh, I'm just so excited for it to be done, to be honest. One of the things I always say to myself when it's like Christmas or around your birthdays, or you've just got like loads of social things on, is just put like all the extra calories to good use. Like go and have a good session, go and push really hard because the more you push yourself in the gym, I promise you, the more you'll see results. And 
I think a lot of people kind of go to the gym and just half ass it or I don't know, just go through like the motions. But you do actually have to find it difficult if you're not finding it difficult. Like say if the rep range is eight to 10 and if you're not finding it difficult by like the seventh, eighth rep, it is too light for you and you need to increase the weight. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to the gym. I'm not gonna do too many exercises. I'm probably gonna do like four or five just to simplify it down a bit because I've actually got to get my nails done after. Look at these, they're so overgrown. They're actually yellow. <laughs> I had to have them done like this for a shoe and I would never really go like a nude color in short, but it's fine, we're gonna get them done. I think I'm just gonna go like all red, like an autumnal red though. But yeah, I'm not gonna do anything like Christmassy. I think this is probably gonna be the last time I get my nails done before Christmas. Although, I don't know, I hate it when they go out like this annoys me. Um, but anyways, I've actually just had this delivered in the post. It's some ribbon for my tree, but I'm 100% sure there's not enough because this definitely does not look like there's enough. I really want to do some bows. Oh, it's the right texture though. There's just not enough of it. I honestly, I'm so bad at Christmas stuff. I just can't get it right. I feel like I send so much stuff back or it just comes and I can't bother to send it back and it's just not right. Like, anyways, let's go to the gym. gym done it was actually a pretty good session to be fair but i only did four exercises but i mean that's fine i feel like when i only do four exercises i actually push myself a lot more because i do more sets and i feel like i can push myself more because it's not such a long workout but oh my god i was so cold and now i'm absolutely freezing because i just got my nails done what do you think guys christmas nails i feel like kieran's gonna hate them because he literally hates when I've got long nails. <laughs> but I really like them. My nails are honestly so thin though. Like they were, um, you know when they like take them off because I had a full new set. Oh, my nails, I was like, oh, like they're so painful when they're so thin. I feel like I'm going to have to have a break soon and I feel like you probably should, but oh God, I just don't know if I can do it. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like when I don't have my nails on, my hands look like stubs, actual stubs. Um, but anyways, I'm absolutely starving. I don't even know what we've got at home, but I really can't be bothered to go to the supermarket. So I feel like I'm gonna just put some stuff together, which actually might help you guys anyways, because not everyone always has loads of ingredients in their house. So um, yeah, let's go home and let's make some food. Picked up these from Aldi. Smell that. Tell me that smells like vanilla. It smells like milk and cookies. It does not smell <laughs> like milk and cookies. <laughs> Hold it up the other way. Hold it up the other way. <laughs> What's happened to that? <laughs> I didn't even lie. I can't. Hold it, hold it downwards. I think that... Hold it down. It's got to catch the wood. It's not lighting. Yeah. I'm scared. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't do this, Elle. Oh, look how pretty that is. Hopefully they smell nice. I can't smell them just yet. Okay, so I've had a rummage in the cupboards and we're going to make like a chicken burrito type thing. So I've got some tortilla wraps out of date but i mean oh no they're not bloody hell the sell by date on that <laughs> okay so we've got some tortilla wraps we've got some mexican rice pepper cheese chicken and then i actually love this seasoning chipotle and lime we're gonna use some of that this seasoning honestly smells incredible I've just put a little bit of mayo on there. I'm gonna call that 10 grams. Mm. 
80 grams of cooked chicken, peppers, which I don't track, and some cheese. We're gonna go about 15 grams. Okay, that's 20. <laughs> that's fine. So roll the sides in first. This will give you the perfect wrap. And then you kind of like squidge it in as you go. And if you microwave your wrap for 20 seconds, it will wrap a lot easier. And then I'm gonna air fry mine just for five minutes to make it a bit crispy. Crispy wraps are honestly game changing, I swear. Oh, look how good that looks. And that was so easy to whip up. So in this whole wrap, there are 522 calories and nearly 40 grams of protein. And how easy was that guys? Like it is so easy to eat well. And this just looks so good. Oh, one thing I've honestly been struggling with so much with this like bulk that I've been kind of doing. I just don't feel hungry. I don't know. I feel like compared to my bulk in January, I've just got like a completely different life right now. And also I've just got so much on. Like I don't have time to eat. <laughs> I think I understand what people say when they literally just don't have time to eat now because I actually just don't have time. So yeah, like this is probably more of like my day-to-day -day food that I'll probably eat. And I know I share a lot of recipes on Instagram, YouTube and TikTok and stuff but sometimes i just gotta make something quick and this is something that i will just go for that's really good mm. this is our christmas tree i've just actually made this bow and put it on it but i can't decide if the ribbon is a little bit long i feel like it's a bit long maybe i'll cut it but i've actually just learned to do bows i bought this ribbon on etsy actually and i think it looks better with the bows what do you think yeah it's good you don't yeah. you don't care do you <laughs> okay we'll make it a bit shorter so the way i've learned to do bows is a tiktok trick <laughs> you literally use your feet wrap it round flick one over and you take it from underneath tie it in a knot i feel like this one's gonna come out really bad because i'm are you ready tie it up again and there we go you have to sort it out a little bit because it gets a bit. And there's our little bow. Cute. Bows all done. Oh, I like it. But I've got to order some more ribbon because I've only got four bows. <laughs> what do you think? You it's like fine. it? Why didn't you do more? Just bring four... that one around a bit more. But you got four bows. I think it's good. Oh, okay. Is it me or are the days just. It's going so fast at the moment. I feel like it's Friday and then it's Friday again. <laughs> I don't understand. Also, I literally hate this weather so much. Like I am just wanting to book a summer holiday so bad, but I can't because we're currently spending so much on the house and we need to be here for it. But yeah, I hope this video helped you with the Christmas period and stuff. But honestly guys, like my top tip is just to do your best and just to enjoy it because there's no point in stressing and you can still make progress even with social events. And I think that's such a big common misconception is that you can't make progress with fat loss or anything like that when you are socializing because you absolutely can. You've just got to be smart. And do you know what? I always find the more you stick to something, the more you try, the more you stay consistent, the more results you'll see and hard work really does pay off. So yeah, don't stop, keep going and just do your best. But yeah, I'm literally gonna jump in the shower now because I've actually got a hair appointment tomorrow. I'm getting my hair colored for Christmas. I think I'm gonna go darker. I'm not sure. But I've just got like really bad roots at the moment and well, it's loads of gel in my hair, but I don't see the point in dyeing my hair when it's so cold outside and I'm not going out. So I think I'm just gonna make it, or dyeing it blonde. I think I'm just gonna make it dark. Well, not that dark, but I think I wanna like blend out the roots basically and just have it a bit more bronze. Is that a word? Blonde. Anyways, you guys will see next week. <laughs> I'm gonna jump in the shower. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I can't believe it's nearly Christmas. Like, what on earth? <laughs> so exciting. I, I'm actually quite excited this year. I feel like because we've got our own house, it's just getting more exciting. Like, I've been buying Christmas stuff and I'm getting in the mood. But anyways, I will see you at the same time next week. Bye, guys.